This tutorial will show you how to send direct messages, commonly referred to on Twitter as DMs. First off, you should know that you can only send messages to users who are following you. Most Twitter users don't send or receive many direct messages, and we recommend that you don't overuse this feature either. One way that we do recommend using DMs is to message new followers with a short note, including the URL for your website. This is what we will show you how to do in this tutorial. First let's take a look at the message settings. The maximum messages to send per day is set to 100 by default. You can leave this at 100, or you can change it to meet your needs. Time delay between messages is set at 0 to 5 seconds by default. Again, this is a good default, but you can make it faster or slower if you want. There are 5 different options to send messages, all of which are pretty self-explanatory. Option 1, send messages to newest followers first. Option 2, send messages to oldest followers first. Option 3, send messages to users in any order. Option 4, send messages to followers added today only. Option 5, send messages to followers added this week only. Tweet Adder automatically keeps a log of who you have messaged, so you don't accidentally message the same people over and over again. If for some reason you want to clear this log, click the clear log link. Since I know that I don't need to worry about sending duplicate messages to the same user, I will choose option 5, send messages to followers added this week only. As long as I run this option at least once a week, all of my new followers will automatically be messaged. Now that all of the settings are set, we need to add at least one message to send. If you add multiple messages, each message sent will be randomly chosen from the list. If you are going to add a link to the message, which is generally a good idea, it's best to start off here. That way you know how many of the 140 characters you have remaining for the message. We have automated the URL shortening process for you, through Bitly. Click where it says, Link, to open the link shortener. You must have a Bitly account to use this feature. If you don't have a Bitly account, you can easily sign up for one using the link provided. Once you have a Bitly account, you must go to your account page of Bitly and get your API key. The API key is used instead of your password. Once you have entered your username and API key into TweetOuter, enter the URL that you are shortening. Leave the append link to message checkbox checked, and then click the shorten button. Now you can type the rest of your message, the whole message must be 140 characters or less. Now click add. We are now ready to begin sending messages. Enter the maximum number of messages you want to send, and press the start button.